What's going on you gamers, today we're back with a little bit more Gotham Knights. What we'll be covering today will be your abilities, how to unlock them, and how to unlock that kind of more hidden one, the final last ability you're going to be able to unlock. So if that interests you, then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back all you gamers, today in Gotham Knights we're going to be covering how you can unlock your abilities. Now abilities in this game are pretty much what makes the game, they're really fun to use and each character has 8 different ones each. However unlike levelling which is going across the board, when you level up one character all of them are going to get the experience for it, meaning they're all going to hit 30 at once. With the abilities it's slightly different. In fact, you're going to unlock your abilities through playing the main campaign. As you progress through the storyline, you're going to start unlocking them, however you can't use them straight away. In fact, in order to use them, you'll have to go to your challenges and beat whatever challenge it gives you. Now, I'll chuck over on the right hand side exactly when your abilities unlock so that you'll know when they're going to be coming around, but the last more hidden ability, the final one you unlock, is slightly different. So as you can see here, I've unlocked pretty much every ability for Nightwing, however the last one is still completely unknown. But at this point I had completed the game, I'd done pretty much everything I thought, so what exactly was I missing? Well, if we go straight over to here, if I jump out to the main map, these will be dotted around the main map and sometimes back at your own Belfry main hub, it's going to be the story. So here I have Nightwing story. Think of it a little bit like memory fragments, you're going to be looking out for these as you go. Like I said, you can't get them all from the start, you're going to have to wait until they come around as you start going through the case files and do the main campaign. But pick these up as you go or just complete them all at the very end of the game and that will give you the final ability. So as you can see here, I've gone and done the last one for Nightwing and it's told me that I've completed his story. Because I've done that, it's finally opened up that very last ability for him. And his one is Bright Knight. Again, you haven't got it completely done, you've got to unlock it still. Same as the others, you're going to go on to your challenges, it's going to tell you exactly what to do. These can be quite tricky, because you have to defeat the enemies with the ability. So if it's very low damage, it can be a bit of a nightmare. I'm going to jump over to another character, which is going to be Batgirl. I'd say she's probably got one of the toughest ones, and show you exactly how to unlock them easy. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to any of your, you're going to go to any of your crimes as you saw here, try to get the character's load that you're aiming for, and then you're going to let your ability do the actual damage. So you're going to stop hitting, you're going to hope that it gets the kill. With Batgirl, she's got to get 20 kills with this drone. It can be a ridiculous pain, and took me quite some time. So to make things easier, rather than waiting for the cooldown, you're going to pop straight back to the Belfry, Every single time you do, it's going to refresh the cooldown of your ultimate, making things a little bit easier for yourself. Then you'll just go straight back out and go on the hunt for some more enemies. You can do this over and over as many times as you want. As you can see here, it involved me standing around a lot and hoping that I'd done enough damage beforehand in order for my drone to take them down. But after I finally had, it told me the challenge had been unlocked. If you're struggling even more so with this, then change the options and muck around with the settings in order to change your difficulty level. Remember you can change this at any time back and forth, so if you're not doing enough damage with your ultimate, put it down to easy or very easy, and then go about playing the game as you intended afterwards. Now one massive thing to note, if you don't complete these challenges and obtain all of these special abilities for pretty much every character, or whatever characters you don't unlock them on, then if you start your new game plus, even if you have the challenges for them, they will completely disappear. You have to fully unlock each one in order to carry it across. And even though I pretty much obtained all of them, because I hadn't unlocked them, it meant I didn't get them in the new game plus. So make sure you unlock them for whatever characters you want to use on the next game. But as you can see, they're well worth having and some of them like Batgirls look absolutely awesome and do quite a bit of damage as well, so definitely well worth knowing. Probably picked one of the worst examples ever because of how many AoEs this guy's got, but yeah, it looks cool, it does a lot of damage most times, and it's well worth having these because they're some of the best skills in the game. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, what character you're playing, and how you find the game at the moment. As always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox, take care. I'll see you on the next day.